One of your favorite stories from your diary here? One of your highlights you like to tell at dinner parties? Well, you know, there's there's some great chapters in there. There's a Mexico one. I actually stayed in Mexico for about a month. I went there to study Spanish. I stayed with a family that was near the school where I was studying. And uh, when I arrived there, I found Rosa in the kitchen, which was like such a huge surprise for me. It was amazing because I was already so interested in food and <laughs> cooking. She was just this, it was just a regular family. And uh, she would she would be making the food every day for them, for their lunches especially and dinner. And uh, every day I went with her to get her masa from the tortilleria. And she took me to the market and we would just sit on the side somewhere and have a little snack of something and look at those millions of chilies and that kind of thing. And <laughs> the food that she made, she would be making, you know, she'd have in her fridge this agua de jamaica, this um, hibiscus water. And mm. I mean, the, the the food that was coming out from the kitchen, and it was astonishing. It was so amazing. And also the little street food, which was just outside. Um, I used to go for a walk in the night and just collect little things like that corn on the cob that was grilled with mm -hmm. a lime cheese on it. And yes. amazing, amazing flavors. Of Mexican it, street you know. corn is one of my favorite things. It is literally, and, and when you can take a piece of corn like that and take it to such a level, everyone that I have made that for just says like, wow. I didn't know corn could be this good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't. And I love the way they have the option of the cup or the grilled corn, you know, so you can have it in a cup that's boiled. So I think that there's these special little things that you can do just to inject flavor into your food. And I also think it's incredibly inspiring for people because, you know, we all need to cook at some point. I mean, we have to eat. We have to eat. At least right, yeah. mm -hmm. So the more fun you can make it and the more, you know, you can add something to it and be inspired with it. I think the better off we all are with it because we're all looking for something like that. We're looking for something to add to our day, something to add to our meal, whether it be a new flavor or um, a health giving ingredient or something. I think that you, we need to be inspired. That is beautifully put, my dear. Every day, every day of just a little something more, right? Like, yeah, or something less. So even, we just, you know, so there's we, some dishes in there that are like nothing. It's just like a some, you know, how the Italians do like a, a pasta in bianco, they say. But if you've got a beautiful olive oil and um, your beautiful parmesan, even a pasta in bianco can be exciting. The simplest things, the simple things are the, the beautiful things. Noodles, by the, you know, a noodle. It's so simple, but like it is. It is home, so it is comfort, it is satis right, it is everything. Just, and it's just bread, it's just flour and water, right? Like, Yeah. Mm. And there's always interesting stories that go behind them. I'm so interested in, you know, what people would do. How, how would people make it? So in, in my Italian chapter, I have a recipe, nothing in the house spaghetti. And that is literally what an Italian person would be like down to the bare minimum, the bones of it all. But they would always have a great olive oil, they would never be without spaghetti, parmesan, and tomato, and a little bit of bread. So my nothing in the house spaghetti has got like some toasted breadcrumbs that are toasted in olive oil and um, and then sprinkled on top of this pasta, which is essentially olive oil with a few tomatoes in it. So it's like a tomato oil, and it's just it's in incredible what you can do with three things, and you know, like a nice leaf of fresh basil that can take something to a new height. But I would always be interested to know what people will do in their own culture, like for an emergency meal. So when you said noodle, you know, it'll be a different direction that, depending on where they're cooking. And I'm so interested in that kind of thing.